Hey guys, this is Dimitri with Joe's Gaming and Electronics and in today's video we are doing a full teardown of the Sony Ultraware 900 at the tools you'll see me using in this video we do have them available on our website the link will be down in the description below we'll be using some flux we have a 1.5 millimeter phillips screwdriver a pry tool some fine nose tweezers we have a 1.5 millimeter flathead and a plastic spudger so to begin the process what we're going to do first is remove the ear pads you can just do one side at a time but i'm just gonna proceed with doing both of them once the ear pads are removed i will start taking apart the right side because we have the battery located there and we want to make sure that the battery is disconnected so that it doesn't short anything since we know that this is a good working unit. So with the Phillips screwdriver, we'll be removing all these screws. You notice these screws down here, they don't want to come out as easy, so we'll just use our tweezers. Once all the screws are removed, flip the headphones over with our flat head, just pry this cup up like so. Lift the clip up and unplug the ribbon. Once the ribbon is unplugged with our plastic spudger, we're using plastic so that we don't stab the battery. Puncture it, it's really easy to do that with the metal spudger. Last thing you would want is for it to inflate. So go underneath with the plastic spudger, remove the battery and plug the last ribbon and what we're going to do is apply some flux to the solder points and start unsoldering the main wire from the power board Once these wires are unsoldered, you could remove the heat tape from the other set of solder points. Repeat the same steps. Apply flux. And we add flux because it just makes it cleaner. When you unsolder and solder things, it makes it a lot easier to unsolder as well. Once all the points are unsoldered, we'll proceed with removing this silver screw right here. There's one right there, and there's another one tucked right here. Once you've done that, you'll want to remove this gasket, and you could lift this out and pop this out. We will disassemble this once we're completely done with this side. Go ahead, remove that tab. We'll remove this O gasket as well. And with our Phillips, there's a screw right here that you'll want to remove. Once that is done, the flathead could come underneath this tab and just pop it up. And with the flathead, just kind of shimmy it around while lightly trying to pop everything up. So with this piece, you want to wiggle it back and forth and slide it out. Don't pull it up because you'll end up breaking the U. So you don't want to do that. Once you've removed that, we can hold the main wire from the grooves. And there is a metal horseshoe right here. It's got two holes in it. You can get in there with your tweezers, pop it up. And with the flathead, finish the job by removing it all the way. Once that is done, this will just slide right off the main swivel. 
And from here, you wanna fold the hinge to expose these two little screws. Once those two screws are exposed, you should be able to slide this out. There's the outside, and for the inside, we just have a couple more Phillips screws that we need to remove. And this should pop right off. Once that is done, you can take the main hinge piece and just pull the wire out. If necessary, if you want to disassemble this completely, there's a screw right here and another screw on that side. Once you take those two screws out, this piece right here, it should just come right off. As far as that goes, that is the whole right side. So we'll do this before we proceed with disassembling the left side. So remove these two silver screws to pull the power board. There's the power board. And right here, you can see that there's some adhesive. You wanna break that up so that you don't tear the ribbon. I'm just gonna use the flathead. I'm not removing all of the adhesive. I'm just trying to break it up so that when I do pull the speaker cup out, this will go through there quite nicely. However, the speaker wire, it's on there pretty well as well as this wire. I believe that's for a sensor or a microphone. We'll see once we take that apart. For that, just gonna use a little bit of heat. Apply a little bit of heat. Don't do too much because you don't want to melt the plastic. And essentially what I'm doing with the tweezers is I'm just plunging it. Once I know this one's good to go, we'll do this one as well. To remove that screw to remove this piece. I'm not sure what it is exactly. It kind of looks like a filter or something. Doesn't look like it serves any purpose other than covers that up. So it might be a filter. So what I'm doing is I'm slowly pulling on this. So right there, I should have plunged it a little more. As you can see, the speaker wires are still stuck in there. That's just kind of what happens when you don't heat it up enough or plunge it. It's glued in there pretty well. That's fine. And if you really want to take it completely apart, there is a sensor in here. We're just going to leave it. We're not going to mess with it. But if you wanted to remove it, what you would do is same thing. Just kind of heat this up, hold these wires through, heat this up, remove it, and then you'd be able to pull the sensor or it might even be a microphone, probably most likely a microphone bit. But here we got the speaker driver. That side is pretty much disassembled and on to the left. So for the left hand side, same deal. Remove all the screws. Hey, this is Joe from the sauna. If this video brought you value, please support us by buying parts, tools, refurbished electronics, or sending your device in for repairs so we can keep offering you free repair tutorials. Back to the video. Once all the screws are removed, follow the same steps as we did on the right side with the flathead. Peel this cup and plug it from the Bluetooth board. We'll set that aside. We'll remove this gasket as well. With our plastic spudger, flip all the clips up to unplug all the ribbons from the Bluetooth board. 
And now we're going to proceed with unsoldering the main internal wire, adding flux. Once all those wires are unsoldered, add flux to the last set of wires. And there are two wires over here as well. We'll go ahead and solder those. Once all those are unsoldered, I'm gonna pull these two silver screws. We can pop this up, push this out like so. We'll set that aside. And it's the same steps as the right hand side. Hold this tab. We wanna remove the O-ring gasket. Pop this Phillips screw out. Once we're able to lift this, just wiggle it while pulling on it. We'll come in with our tweezers, pop up the little horseshoe metal piece. And this should pop right off. Same thing, pull the hinge, remove these two screws. You should be able to just slide this out. We got two more screws. Once you remove this piece, you could just slide the main hinge swivel off and that is how you disassemble it down to just the headband and the main internal wire. If you wanted to go deeper than that and do the headband cushion, you would just have to remove these screws and I'm pretty sure you don't even need to remove those two. That's if you wanna completely pull the wire out. These tabs do come undone and these headband leather cushions, they're replaceable as well. So with this, it looks like there's just three silver Phillips screws that hold the Bluetooth board down. And that's the Bluetooth board right there. Yeah, I don't wanna mess with that. Last thing I wanna do is break it. We'll pop this guy off as well. And it looks like this side was already previously taken apart because everything that would be glued down is not, which in this case, if it was, you would just want to blast it with some heat and plunge it. But this is how it looks. You have multiple ribbons, speaker wire, and over here where we have the charger port and the AOX jack, it's just one screw that's holding it down. We'll remove that screw and this should just pop right out. And that my friends is a complete teardown of the Sony Ultraware 900 and headphones. If you guys are looking to buy some parts, we do have parts available on our website. The link will be down in the description below, as well as all the tools you saw me using in this video to do this complete teardown. We do have these tools available on our website. The link will be down in the description for that as well. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you guys love what we do, please support us. You guys can click on the links that we have on the end screen. You guys can buy our parts, sales, or service so we can continue to make great videos for you guys for many more years. Thank you.